okay, Miss Mary Ellen. I'm going to send this to you in two different videos. Um, because kind of get you through the first part and then help you walk your way through in pieces so it's easier. Uh, first of all, go through the kit. You have your cover. I've already strung it for you. So you'll be able to slide your signatures in just like a traditional traveler's journal. There's a room for three. Let's see room for three here well when I can find my center there we go so you've got one signature two signatures oh let me lift you up a little bit because I think it's hard you're too close hard to see there we go that's better okay two signatures and then your third signature and if you look I've already laced this up for you so you have your three strings there's four but you know, this one goes to the outside to tie your book together. So you've got three and your cover's already done. And I think, I think I gave my measurement page away, but that's okay. Cause I have a ruler. So your outside cover, which is already done for you is seven and a half tall. And it is actually 11 and a quarter wide with a one inch, I think it's one inch. Yeah, pretty much right at a one inch spine. So then your actual pages are five inches wide, a little over five actually. So what you're gonna do for your signatures, let's start with the three signatures. You want to pick out of your kit, you know, you've got a bunch of, of different papers in your kit. So you need to pick three papers that you want to be your signature cover. You can pick the same three that I've picked or you can pick the three that you like the best. Completely up to you, okay? And then you wanna cut down your three signature covers. Now your signature covers are seven inches tall, exactly seven inches tall and they are five inches wide. So you're gonna cut them seven inches tall. And then of course you gotta have it open cause we're gonna fold it. So it's gonna be 10 inches. Doo, doo, doo. Oops, might be a little more than 10 inches. Let me see here. Let me turn it this way. I think it's 10 and a quarter if I remember correctly from what I had written down. So we're gonna go up. They are 10 and a half, but then when you fold things in, you end up trimming. So make them 10 and a quarter. So you want them 10 and a quarter wide and you want them seven inches tall, okay? And you're gonna cut your papers just like this so that you have three. And these are your signature covers. Um, Yeah, sorry, I had to look and see what my cat was into. Okay, now for the inside pages, that's where all this cute tea stained and, and uh, flour boiled, all these papers that I sent you, that's where they come in. Now they need to be, of course they need to be 10 inches wide. I remember that correctly. You need to cut them 10 inches wide and they need to be, by my ruler, they need to be six and three quarters tall. That way they will fit inside your signature cover. You can see your signature cover comes around the outside just a hair. Um, and don't worry, if you do get one or two of them too big, you can always trim them down and make them fit before you uh, attach them but it's 10 this way and six and three quarters this way. Now, I think I sent you some picture pages. I like to use these for my center page. That way you can see the whole thing. You just need to look at it about cutting it down so that you don't like accidentally cut too much one way. Your center page, you may have to actually cut around the outside so that you have your picture. Now you don't have to do this totally up to you okay I, I like to leave these things where you can customize them to what you like 
I also included some pages that were different sizes. Um, for one, interest. For two, you know, you could very easily pop a pretty picture on here and journal about the day. Or you can take it and glue it down and turn it into a pocket. We'll go over the, the decorating and the tucks and that kind of stuff in the second video, okay? But just for this video, you wanna stack up about 10 pieces of paper that you like, and then your center page. And I, I, I'm i pretty positive I sent you three center pages, or I might have sent you two center pages and a paper bag to make a pocket. Um, but you wanna stack them up the way that you want them. You wanna make sure that they're cut down to size. And then when you get them all stacked up, you're gonna to wanna to fold them in half, straight in half. And now, now, not to be confusing, but if you wanted to, you could actually have a piece that was only half the size. So you could have a page that looked like this if you wanted to. It's totally up to you, but please don't let me confuse you, okay? So once you get them all three cut down and laid inside of whatever signature you want to lay them in, you're going to staple them. Now, I realize that you may not have a long reach stapler like I do, um, but I think, nope, but since they are pretty pliable, you can kind of roll it up just a little bit and it will go under a regular stapler just kind of be careful not to push on that too much so it won't bend it up permanently and then you're going to line it up with the staples going into the center and if you get a little bit off it's okay it'll still fold good as you can see mine are not perfect they're not perfectly in the center they're kind of off but you want to staple your center pages three times. Do the middle one first because that kind of holds everything down for you real good. And then you can do this side and this side. Now, if you're worried about them sliding or coming apart or anything while you're trying to staple them, you can paper clip them. And I might have even put a paper clip in your um, stuff for you to use as a, uh, a tag later, but you can paper clip them with one here and one over here and that will hold them good and steady for you to staple so you can stack up your papers cut them down to the size you want them put them in the order you want them and as you can see for this signature i just used a shorter page for my middle i thought i'd put some photos and things right in the middle for like a centerpiece but anyway you want to do all three you want to get them stapled together I'll show you, let's see, the center of this one, I did a, a neat doodling picture. And then of course the center of this one, you saw that I did the beehive. Now in one of your signatures, you're going to put that paper bag. Let me figure out which one I put my paper, here's my paper bag. I used a paper bag that had an ink spray in accident and turned green, but yours is brown to match your journal better. And you just wanna lay the paper bag in just like a page. You don't have to worry about um, how long it is, as long as it's inside of your pages, okay? Like I opted to cut this end a little short so I could have a shorter pocket. Paper clip off. But you wanna trim the end. You just wanna barely nip off the end so then now you have a pocket and this pocket is a little tiny, ah, it doesn't wanna come undone, is a little tiny, there we go, short pocket. So you have this short little pocket where you could put tiny things, you have this deeper pocket, or you can cut it completely off if you don't wanna fool with this flap, you can cut it completely off. But I plan on gluing my flap on the sides and having a slide pocket. And then your other one over here, you can cut it short like I did, or you can leave it all the way out. But I will tell you the, pay, the uh, pocket, the uh, paper bag, sorry, has a little like jaggedy edges on the end like a regular paper bag. You do wanna make sure you trim those off because they have a propensity to tear. Those little jags seem to catch on thing and then your 
paper bag ends up tearing. So I, I did, I, I cut a almost an inch off of mine, but you just make sure you at least nip off those little razory bumpy edges so you won't have any tearing. In whichever one you want to put your pocket in, it doesn't matter. I would not recommend putting your pocket in the middle. I wouldn't do that. I would put him back here so that you have one on this side and you have one on this side and it holds the paper bag better. Because if you just put it here in the middle and you push things down in here, it'll have a tendency to try to go through these stapled areas and sometimes it'll tear your stuff or sometimes your bag will give way from the staple because you've put a lot of things in it. So if you have it back in the pages, it's more secure. Um, it's got kind of a stopper that's better than the staples and you can put a good bit of stuff in it and it won't try to slide through. So anyway, you, you when you finish this video, you're gonna have your three pages or your three signatures, I'm sorry, your three signatures and your cover's all ready to go. So once you get them stapled, you can just take them. I like to start in the back, but it really doesn't matter. But you can take them. And of course, make sure you're putting them right side up. That's, I usually put things upside down. And you can just slide them through here. So there's one attached. And then I like to put my pockety one in the middle here. Find the middle of my foot down to my middle. And this one's gonna go under my middle string, just like that. And then of course I add my front one. And you can do these any order you want, any way you want. And the neat thing about these is, it's a traveler's journal. So if you fill one of these up to the point that it's just bulging with all your goodies and you wanted to take it out and put it away, it's easy to build another little signature to go right in its place, slide it out, put in a new one, and just keep on going. And since I have these, uh, mine need a little trimming, don't they? They need a tad of trimming. They're just a tad, mine are just a tad long. So I should really trim them just a little bit, but you know, I'll probably leave them that way because you know me, I like, I like junky and I like ripped, so. But I did laminate the covers so that they're a little bit stronger. So if you wanna carry it in your purse or you wanna use it for notes at church or you wanna you know, carry it on trips so that you can put things in it and, and write about each day. I tried to make it just a little more durable like a regular travels, traveler's journal, I'm sorry. And you do have this long string. Now I didn't send you any beads because I really wasn't gonna do beads and my daughter actually did this. And since she did it, I'm just gonna leave it on there. But I mean, you can add beads, you can add pieces of jewelry. You don't have to add anything. You can add buttons, you can tie fancy knots. But what this string is for, is for when you're not using your journal, then you can wrap it around and it holds your book closed. Or if you don't wanna do the wrap, you can do one string one way See, this is this is why this is why I wasn't going to do beads because it tangles into a mess. But she put them on there, and she's my heart, so I'll leave them on there. Anyway, or you can tie, you know, one this way and one this way, and then you can just make a bow and let your strings hang, or you can actually wrap them each around twice so that you have more closure, and then you can tie a bow and then it'll just keep your book nice and closed so that your goodies don't fall out. And, you know, at, at our house, I journal, my husband journals, Zoe journals, her best friend Gracie journals, there's journals all over my house. So if somebody's journal's laying around tied, nobody will bother it. But if somebody leaves their journal untied and open, that one page might be fair game. We laugh about that. We laugh about, oh look, Gracie left her journal open on the coffee table. We don't actually read the girls' journals, but we do like to aggravate them. And Gracie's like my second child. Um, her mom moved to Knoxville, and it's her senior year of high school. So she's staying with us during the week and going to her mom's on the weekends. And she's just like, we just adopted her. We just love her. Zoe's been friends with her since, you know, like the seventh grade. So we just love her. So if I hear me talk about Gracie, that's my other kiddo. Anyway, I'm going to stop this video here because if they get too long, it won't let me send them. And I want to be able to send you this video in Messenger so you can look at it. 
I am gonna go right now and put the second coat on my furniture that I'm refinishing for our new shop at Bushel and Peck. I'm so excited, I can't wait for everybody to see the new shop. It's going to be beautiful. Cheryl's done a really good job. And then when I come back from doing that, I will go in and talk about all the fun things that you can do with decorating and making tags. And, and when we got to this part of the class, um, I just kind of walked around and made suggestions and showed people how to make tuck spots and how to add pockets. And that's what I'll do with you. I'll just take my book and I'll decorate my book so that you can see what I did and then you can do what you want to do to your book. And I know if in your package you got the uh, farmhouse market stickers and I sent you some, uh, what do they call these things? The alphabets, the Oh, they have a word for it. But anyway, I sent you a whole set of these where you could put, you know, if you wanted to put a word or name or whatever on yours. And then I think I might have sent you half a bonus sheet. I found these. Uh, oh, wait. These stickers come in your pack, too, and they're great pop-up stickers. They're awesome. But I will tell you, these little pop-ups in a journal sometimes don't fare so well with just one poppy piece on them. So you might want to add a piece or what I usually do is pick that off and then put glue. So then I don't have to worry about it getting caught on anything and tearing and falling off my journal. So you should have a pack of these. And then I found these cool um, farmhouse stickers on sale, but I only found like three packs. So I sort of divided them up and you either got this half or you got the bottom half, which I didn't even get the bottom half. So. And these are just for you to put wherever you want to, decorate with however you want to, or if you want to keep them and use them in a whole other project, they're, they're just my little bonus gift to you. So anyway, I'm going to stop this video. I'm going to make sure it's okay, and I'm going to send it to you now. And it's like 12 o'clock on Thursday. I'm going to go put my next coats on my furniture and get that part done. And then later on this evening, I'll come back and make a video decorating mine so that you can get ideas for what you want to do for yours. And I thank you so much for buying a kit and being part of my class. And I thank you for always supporting Hummingbird Lane. You are like my favoriteest, favoriteest, favoriteest person um, as far as journals and stuff because you always make me feel good about them. So anyway, if you have questions, just send them to me in Messenger and I will answer them or I'll make another video and explain my answer, which might be the easiest thing to do. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon and I will send you another video in a bit.